one of the earlier things we did was create like when Facebook pages first came out, we created pages for like the city. Like everything. we created a, like a Charlotte page. We created a North Carolina page. We created a UNC Charlotte page. We created everything we could think of that might be interesting for people to follow. Some of them didn't catch on, like uh, Rogue Helicopter Pilot. I'm surprised nobody really bought on that. One. But like Charlotte caught on. And North Carolina caught on hugely for the longest time. We ran like the North Carolina Facebook page. At its peak, we had like 125,000 followers. You could ask a question like um, peanut butter and jelly, or like Duke versus UNC, <laughs> and get like 300 responses in five minutes. My passion lies in food activism and food blogging. Um, and, and how it relates to um, what the ingredients are, um, what are the different chemicals that um, are involved in food making processes, and how to eat the healthiest things on the planet. People were really wondering why I don't drink cold water with my meal, or why I drink hot lemon in the morning first thing when I wake up, or why I was always carrying a green shake. And so, um, I felt the only way to really communicate this without like bearing down people's throats was just to start a blog and see if they'd start reading. When I first got on Twitter, it was really a way to reach my audience on their terms. As a weather guy, it's a great resource because weather happens 24-7. You know, I'm only on TV at 5, 6, and 11. And unfortunately for most people, that's not really convenient for their life. If you're on the lake on the weekend or you're at your kid's soccer game at 7 or 8, I'm not on TV, you're not in front of the TV to get weather information and there may be storms coming. But the flip side of that is it's been a great resource for me because now I'm getting reports in from the field. As a meteorologist, we have great tools, we have Doppler radar, we have satellites, but still the human eye or the spotter, like what's actually happening is still really vitally important. So my followers on a severe weather day end up being very important to me. All right, some people may criticize this for TMI, but you know what? You clicked on it. So we're at the butt part now. And if you don't know what the butt part is, I suggest that you go Google what a Brazilian wax actually is. I own my own business called Shannon Dawn Media. It's very multifaceted. I started out as a social media manager, but it kind of ended up being more as like a personality thing, uh, hosting events, and kind of a Twitter whisperer where I coach people, businesses, and uh, personalities, bands, pretty much anyone who's interested in expanding their buzz and reach. I make sure that my personality shows through those things that I do. And I feel that if people get to know me digitally, then they will be interested in what I'm doing. That way I can network myself to businesses and kind of teach them how to do the same thing because nobody wants to click on a boring link. People want depth. I just actually retweeted um, something from my company's um, Twitter account and the subject matter was how to say thank you on Twitter and I think it's something that we always forget you know whenever somebody's interacting with you whether it feels like a gift or doesn't feel like a gift there's always time to thank somebody for reaching out or for mentioning you. A fan contacted me on Facebook and she was going down to Destin, Florida and so I sent out a tweet asking all my fans to send her a message um, of where to find natural food stores. Wow, my dog just crapped out $20. Talking to Brad Panovich, the meteorologist from CNC when I was down at the beach a couple weeks ago. He's great because all I have to do is tweet him and he'll tell me the weather forecast wherever I am. He's telling me about uh, when the hurricane was coming up to Hilton Head that I shouldn't be worried that there were scattered storms. So I can still go to the beach. I tweeted out severe weather threat for today. There's a small threat for severe storms and a lot of people um, asking about the timing and most of the time I you know, replied. I tweeted, you know, who loves gazpacho? I'm making this tonight and sent out one of my recipes. I got a picture of a melted mailbox from Kentucky. <laughs> That's a funny thing is people sent me screen pictures from all over the country. This is my psycho dog, Keto Sit. Keto Sit. Good sit. He eats everything. He eats socks and teddy bears and little cars. If he, you know, craps out a child or a bird or something interesting, I can tweet about it and people will retweet it. 